Hello and welcome back to another episode with Butler Millworks. Today we are continuing with part two of the barn door project. In this episode I'm going to be working on hanging the barn door hardware and then getting the barn doors hung, doing some finished trim, and finally adjusting the door stops to make sure that the doors don't slide off the tracks. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave any feedback you want in the comments down below. Here I am getting the inside track hung, level, and then secured into the studs. Before we put drywall up, I laid out a bunch of blocking exactly at the height that I needed so that I could be screwing into blocking regardless of where the holes ended up being on that track. We weren't quite sure what, what hardware we were going to end up with, so having that blocking back behind there just ensured that I could get solid connection to the track into the wall. After getting the holes drilled in the front side of the door, I switched to the back where I need to take my pedal bit and countersink. The bolts weren't quite long enough to go all the way through the door, so I had to countersink about an inch and a half in the back side to allow for enough protrusion of that nut could screw on to fasten the hanger. first door is hung, and now I'm going to work on getting the second hanger, the outside hanger, in place. This is where the directions really bothered me. I ended up having to do this part a couple of times because I couldn't get the right order of the hangers as I was installing them, and I, I ended up with not having enough clearance for the wheels to pass under the hangers which hold that outside rail in place. So if you're going to do this, it takes a little bit of time to get the right process together, but the rails went together fantastically. I, I highly recommend this product. I wish that I could have written the directions. I think they would have been a little bit better, but you get what you get.
I'm putting the door on a half inch block in order to mimic where it's going to end up being when the install is done. After that I take my torpedo level, draw a couple of vertical lines, and get my hangers in place and outline where I'm going to drill the holes for those hangers. Now that I have the second door in place and I'm happy with how it's sliding, I'm going to put the door stops in. These are just little bumpers that go on either end of the door so that the door doesn't inadvertently go off the track. We waited to put the trim on the outside of the pantry and the laundry, so I wanted to make sure that there was enough space between the door and the wall. And what we had to do Thank was you. plane down the wood to about a half an inch thick in order to leave enough clearance between the trim and the doors themselves. Here I'm cutting the last piece of trim. This is the only one where I had to do any weird cutouts. We have a light switch and an outlet. And I just need to cut around those two in order to get this piece of trim to fit in nicely. just sharpened these chisels the other day and boy are they sharp exactly what I need for this pays to have sharp tools I'll give this a test fit in just a moment
Well, I got the barn door project finished today. The hardware directions left quite a bit to be desired, so there was a little bit of trial and error as I was putting them together, but I did get them in. They slide beautifully. The bottoms of the doors don't touch the ground, which is a big plus. So overall, this project, great success. I really enjoyed doing it, and the barn doors just add so much to this little space here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and watch out for the next video. Thanks so much.